Proverbs 1 7 tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It begs the question what the fear of the Lord is. It's always useful when the Bible will take the time to define its terms for us. Because if you look over in your Bible, just a few chapters later, Proverbs 8 13, the Bible tells us that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogance, and the evil way. Interesting. One of the things involved with the fear of the Lord is the hatred of evil. The Bible gives us an outlet for that emotion of hate. All those emotions are there as tools, not to be used improperly, but to be used properly. We have the emotion of anger. and The Bible tells us that we are to be angry, but don't sin with that anger. That's Ephesians 4.26. you got to keep it under control and use it for the right purposes. We're given the emotion of hate. And what do we do with it? We hate evil. We don't hate people. We hate evil. There's a big difference there. Now, people can be evil, but it's their behavior that's evil. We hate the behavior. We try to correct and teach the behavior. We're not trying to attack the individual. You have within you a powerful emotion, especially as a man. Those emotions of anger are very, very strong, very powerful. And that close cousin emotion, that hatred, that's also very powerful. And you have to keep it under control. You have to use it, channel it, and target it towards what it is meant to be used for. And that is to be used to focus on evil and turn whatever nastiness you have in your soul, whatever darkness, and you know what kind of darkness you have in there, all of that, that anger and animosity, target it towards evil. Because the adversary, the devil, he wants you to use that on your fellow man. Worse yet, on your fellow brothers and sisters within the church. That's not where it's to be used. No. It's to be directed and concentrated with extraordinary power towards evil. It's going to be one of the overriding emotions that you can use to overcome sin. A lot of times we talk about you use your aggression in the gym. It's easier to learn these things physically. You use your aggression in the gym. You, you use your anger to overpower the pain you're feeling. If you can conjure up on your own accord that anger within a set of an exercise or your training and the difficulty comes to you, the pain is there. If you use your anger and channel it, you can override that pain somehow. We're trying to apply the same thing on our spiritual walk. If you can channel that hatred of evil, that anger towards evil... You can override that temptation. When the temptation comes and it's burning, some sort of whatever it is you're struggling with, you're at war with, and it is really pulling you towards evil. If you can conjure up that hatred, whatever darkness, whatever nastiness you have inside, you can direct that warlike power towards evil, overcome the temptation, and win. That's what it is to fear the Lord, to hate evil.